what up youtube welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to be looking at the plasma carrot now the only way to obtain the plasma carrot is if you do participate in a reboot of friend program now in this program you do have to get a friend who hasn't played in at least 30 days and actually reboot him and actually play about 30 to 40 matches with him now after you do all this you will get rewarded the plasma carrot so without further ado guys let's get this review started so the plasma carrot now the plasma carrot has actually been in the file since last year and it's just been quite a long time but we finally actually have it in our possession it does come with two selectable styles one of them being the default being an all blue curse scheme and then another one being a red and black which looks amazing now the harvesting tool itself even though it is free is still such a grind to get i did have to play with my friend who actually hasn't played in about three months and it was just so difficult to actually just try to obtain this just because of the amount of matches you do have to play but is it worth the grind absolutely it is a free harvesting tool in the end of the day so if your friend could actually just hang on with you and just grind it out it's so worth it it does come with two selectable styles and it came right around the same time as easter so it's a perfect harvesting tool for the holidays so what's my final rating for the plasma carrot i'm gonna have to give the plasma carrot an 8 out of 10 it is free, it does come with two selectable styles, and it's just a grind to actually get, and that's the main reason why I'm giving it an 8. Almost a perfect harvesting tool, the only downfall is that you really can get it if you just play or do challenges, you actually have to have someone who hasn't played in 30 days, and for the most part, if they haven't played for that long, they're not going to return, but if you could find someone to actually grind it out with you, I would highly suggest you guys grinding it out. So without further ado guys. Let's get this combo started. For our first combination with the Plasma Carrier with the default edit style, we are going to be pairing it up with Dutch. Now for Dutch, you do want to use the default edit style since he does have an all blue suit that complements the harvesting tool. Then for the back end, we're going to be going with the Cryo Hops. The Cryo Hops just matches really well because of the blue aesthetics and then it even has a little bunny inside the little container. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Plasma Trail. Now the Plasma Trail itself does have these blue Plasma Trails that fits perfectly with the suit. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the blue streak. Now the blue streak is basically just a chapter 1 glider design that does have a blue and white color scheme that looks really good with this combination. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the fingerprint. Now the fingerprint wrap matches really well with this whole combination because of the blue and white aesthetics that complements the bunny and the suit. Then for our next combination with the plasma carrot, we are going to be pairing it up with the flap jackie. Now the flap jackie fits very well because it is a bunny and it does have blue color schemes. Then for the back name, we're going to be going with the Neo Frenzy. The Neo Frenzy itself is just a little gadget on her back that does have white that complements her high socks. And then the blue aesthetics, even though it's not the same blue, matches perfectly with the harvesting tool. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Hollow Data Drop. The Hollow Data Drop just has these pixelated things on both hands and feet that complement the outfit. Then for the glam, we're going to be going with the Stratosphere. Now the Stratosphere Glider matches really well with this whole combination because it does have a blue and white color scheme. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Hench. Now the Hench, it does have the similar color scheme to that of the back lane and outfit which really complements them each other. Now for the last combination with the Plasma Carrot with the default edit style, we are going to be pairing it up with Lynx. Now for Lynx, we are going to be looking at the stage 5 with the no ponytail on with the color scheme blue and just because it matches perfectly. Even though it is a cat, it still has the same holographic feel to it that the harvesting tool does have. Then for the back end, we're going to be going with the spectral spine. Now the spectral spine is just a hologram from a spine on your back, but it matches perfectly with the plasma carrot. Then for the contra, we're going to be going with the conduit crasher. Now the conduit crasher does fit perfectly, especially with the blue aesthetics it does leave behind. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the holographic glider. Now the holographic glider is just a hologram of a glider which actually matches perfectly with this combination just because of the harvesting tool and backlink. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Frosty Glow. Now the Frosty Glow fits really well with this combination just because of the blue aesthetics that you do have on the wrap. Then for our next combination with the Plasma Carrier with the red edit style, we are going to be pairing it up with Shadow Ops. Now for Shadow Ops, you do want to use the default edit style since it does have that red and black color scheme and the red is the main reason why I'm using it. Then for the back, we're going to be going with the Frenzy. Now similar to the Neon Frenzy, the Frenzy itself does have a red color scheme that complements the back lane itself. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Glitch and the System. The Glitch and the System Contra is just glitched out flames, but it looks very cool and complements both the Harvesting Tool and Blackling. 
Then for the glands, we're going to be going the Mighty Marvel Brella. The Mighty Marvel Brella does have a very similar curse scheme to that of Shadow Ops, and it does have this very cool, like, red curse scheme that goes really well with the control. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going the Square Stream. The Square Stream does have square animations that are red that goes in the back background that complements the harvesting tool. Then for our next combination with the Plasma Carrot with the red Edistout, we are going to be pairing it up with the Brute Gunner. Now even though the Brute Gunner does have an all matte black finish, as you look closely into her design, she does have little red lights all over her body. Then for the back name, we're going to be going with the Prospect. Now for the Prospect, you do want to use the default Edistout since it does have a similar curse scheme to that of the Brute Gunner. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Sip Ribbons. Now the Sip Ribbons does have this control that is black and white which complements the outfit. And for the Glider, we're going to be going with the One Shot. The One Shot Glider does have an all matte black finish that is similar to that of the outfit. Then for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the Knighted. The Knighted wrap does have this metallic red with black, and even though it does have more black than red, it still stands out because of the contrast between the wrap and the skin. Then for the last combination with the Plasma Carrot, we are gonna be pairing it up with Demi. Now for Demi, we do want to use the default edit style since you do have an all red dress with the red arm. Then for the back end, we're gonna be going with the Radar Senses. Even though the radar senses is very simple and you hardly ever see it, it still matches really good with the minimalistic skins out there. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the glitch in the system again. Now what I really like about glitch in the system is that it does make the skin itself shine red, which complements the harvesting tool. Then for the glide, we're going to be going with the sky serpent. The sky serpent with the default edit style, they do have it with an all red and black curse scheme that just looks really good with the skin and harvesting tool. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the ultra red. Now the ultra red does have uh, this metallic red curse scheme with black that complements the dress and the arm from Demi. Now those were the 6 combinations I did find for the Plasma Carrot. Let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, I post videos for fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, 2 D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the I'm Shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.